Hello and welcome to Callum's Corner. Just a quick football video for you. I've had a few messages saying, you know, what do you think of Big Sam? What do you think of England's performance? And what do you think of Wayne Rooney and his performance? So let's go through it. I think the first, Sam Allardyce, um, I mean, he managed Blackburn Rovers. He was our manager for a couple of years. He got the most out of the players. He got the dressing room unified. Doesn't play the best football in the world, you know what I mean? Um, but it can be. It can be all right. I mean, he looks to get forward as quick as possible, which can actually be exhilarating when it's done right. And if it's done with a higher standard of player, like he has at England now, then it could actually be a winning combination because defensively we're going to be strong Everyone's going to know what they're doing and we have got some good forward players that could play on a break quite well, I think. Full of pace, full of, vi full of vigour um, and also a couple of more skillful players than Sam's really ever had the chance to manage. <clears throat> However, what worries me is the Wayne Rooney thing. He's come out in the paper, Big Sam, and he said, who is he to tell Wayne Rooney where to play? Which worries me a little bit. Wayne Rooney is a footballer he's not a manager he obviously he's got a tactical brain to a certain degree because he's been very successful but that doesn't mean he knows how to set up a team he doesn't know positionally where everyone should be playing it's an instinct thing with him rather than a thought through game plan which is where a manager comes in now big sam makes great game plans he will not lose to almost anyone and he will win more games than he loses that's for sure um, but his approach relies on players buying into his ethos. His approach is tactical game. It means that everyone needs to know where they're playing. And everyone needs to follow those instructions for that to be successful. If he's not going to be authoritative enough to tell Wayne Rooney, actually, you can't play that deep. That's not right. That's not where we need you for the team. We've got other players who will be playing deep and we need you much, much closer to Harry Kane. Because Harry Kane, I felt sorry for him. He was so isolated again. He had no one up there with him and he hasn't got enough pace on his own to, to kind of lead the line and kind of break through. He needs players in and amongst him, going beyond him. And Rooney should have been there. He should have been buzzing around him. He should have been playing those balls. When he's playing that deep, it's just not, he's, he's not going to alter the attacking, the attacking flow of the game enough. And that's the reason you have Wayne Rooney in there. Other midfielders will offer more from the... Yes, he's quite skillful. Yes, he can pick a pass, but he's not a natural midfielder. And we could play other people there who will offer more protection and who will play the tactical role of a deep-line midfielder better than Wayne Rooney. If he is going to continue to play international football, and I'm not 100% sure he should, because I don't think he knows in his head where his game's at now. I think he's kind of got it in his head. He's not a striker anymore. I think he probably has lost that maybe half a yard, a yard of pace that he had, which, you know, was never the biggest part of his game. But when you're trying to go beyond people, you do need that little that little half a yard of pace. And if he's lost that, he's going to be, well, he is, you know, not as effective as a front man as he used to be. But that doesn't mean he can't play just behind a striker. You know, he needs to think of himself as, you know, almost like Paul Scholes did for Man United in his early days, rather than his latter days, where he did sit deeper and he could play that. He was good enough, Paul Scholes. He was magnificent in midfield. But when he was playing much more much more up there, like Steven Gerrard did at Liverpool, you know, in his earlier days, where he was right up there and scoring goals, when Rooney could still get 20 or 30 goals for Man United this season, if he, gets, if he can play that role, if he can get it in his head, that's where he needs to be, not dropping off deep. He needs to be a forward, if not a striker. But if it, if he doesn't know in his head, you know, where he is and he's thinking he's got to alter his game and play deep midfield now and that's where he sees himself, then I think the time has come internationally for him to step aside. Go on, Rain. Because we've got some good youngsters coming through. We've got no international tournament next year, of this year, have we? So it's the perfect time. Perfect time for the team to transition. We've got a new manager. Um, yeah. So I think Sam really has got to be stronger because that's where he's had his success in the past is strong tactical systems, him as the boss, him being very broad shouldered, taking any criticism and he did get a lot from fans and from opposition managers and stuff. 
He's always just batted it off and done it his way. I really don't want him, now he's international manager, to start doubting himself. He's got the job now. It's probably not who I would have given it to, personally. Um, but he has got the job. And the only way he's going to be successful is if he believes in himself 100%. Is if he follows his convictions. He doesn't second-guess himself. And we all get behind him. That's all we can do as England fans. It's often a tireless, thankless task being an England fan. But, you know... Imagine how good it would be if we actually did well at a tournament. And it could happen. It could happen. Look at Portugal. They weren't the best team in the world and they've won the Euros. If we set up well, if we defend well and we let our better players have the chance to shine, we, we could be a successful team. There's no reason why we couldn't. But Sam needs to be strong. So that's my little football vlog, my little England vlog coming at you. Um, got some lots of ideas actually for, for videos. Um, got a... A full length, I say full length, a longer video, I am Callum, making my own little documentary, using my editing skills, dealing with going viral, taking you out and about, you know, post that video, um, seeing how it's affected me in the community and my standing, you know. So I think it'll be a good chance for me to edit stuff together and you to see my backstory a little bit more. I hope you're excited about that. I have got my real Converse now. I could do a live unboxing for you. I'm very excited about that, so I could possibly do that. Not for now. Um, and what else have I got? I wanted to do a little video, maybe, Callum on Twitter. I've had some kind of interesting tweets and exciting stuff going on. Um, BGM seem to be taking over the world, so maybe that needs mentioning. So that could be a video as well. Let me know what you want, or maybe just a Q&A, or maybe the dancing and dabbing, because I have reached 30,000 subscribers now, and that is amazing. Thank you so much, anyone who has subscribed, or anyone who's just watching me.